Hi guys, Lisa Huck here. I've been watching a video series by archaics.com. I'm going to put the link in the, in the description. So awesome, blowing my mind. Can't encourage you enough to go watch it, but it's very different kind of information, so I want to warn you. So Jason Brashear from Archaics, super brilliant man, very driven, watching him, and I want to add to his life. I want to add to your life. If you're sitting at the computer, if you're reading, if you're writing, if you're finding yourself sort of hunching over, getting an uh, achy neck, tension in your shoulders, anytime we're doing those postures and those positions, it, it creates a little bit more forward position, forward pull through the, through the forward part of your body. Gravity's pulling you over, and the tension in the back of the neck and the shoulders is increased. So this little series is, I just taught a class. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. So this series is to help counteract those parts, ease, relieve, bring resources to the parts that have been working too hard and, uh, and open up the front end. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and you can do the seated or standing. Hands are together, I call this the flasher series. Drop your shoulders, slide your head back over the spine. Have you ever noticed in, in posture that you're going forward with your head? So check that out, try not to do that. Whenever you um, notice yourself doing that, Bring yourself back, push your neck back. Now when I say that, I'm not saying this, people will tip their head up, bring your chin down, lengthen the back of your neck, and that lengthens your cervical spine, giving it decompression, allowing resources into those joint spaces. That'll keep your spine healthier and happier and give it more longevity. When we're in pain, we're getting noise and distraction from the body. In fact, that's exactly what pain is for. Pain is your body's way of getting, getting your attention, saying, hey, I need attention, I need something, and it's our jobs, if we choose, to figure out what the body's saying and what it needs. So one of my messages is that basic, natural movement, creating blood flow, bringing oxygen, bringing hydration, bringing lubrication, bringing energy, bringing life flow into the parts, into the cells, is what's vitalizing, and it reduces a lot of pain. So we've got feet medium stance or you're sitting, hands here. This is called the flasher. Flasher for opening your coat. Imagine you're opening your coat. My hands are coming together and opening up. My elbows are staying by my side. I'm not moving forward and back. So I'm turning my upper arm bone out, which is the opposite of what happens in poor posture. In poor posture, we're rounding forward. The back becomes loose or um, long and tight. The front becomes short and tight. So in this flasher, we're going ahead and we're doing the opposite. We're stretching out the front and we're tightening and um, connecting the back of the body. And you're gonna get to a point at the end range where you're here. If you pause there and you continue to try and go, you're really gonna feel the muscles on the back of your shoulders, your rotator cuff muscles. Those get very weak for people. So it's a good thing to pause there and feel that resistance. Now hold it there, slide the head back over the spine, pull the shoulders down. You're gonna feel a stretch in the back of your neck. Hold that position, don't hold your breath. When you drive your head back, did you notice how your belly got tight? That's your core muscles engaging and supporting your spine. Now let that go, circle the shoulders. So I've been noticing my posture, I've been noticing people's posture, and I'm inspired to help you counteract that posture. Okay, next one we're gonna do, we're gonna go thumbs up and hands back. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. You can do this whole series, you can do any part of it. Whenever you can think about it, when you're sitting at the chair, doing your work or standing up to help counteract the, um, the habits that our body forms in poor posture. Stop there, slide the head back, I'm pulling the back of the neck long. Notice I'm not doing chin up, my chin's down, and I'm gonna turn my face. My head is right over the spine as opposed to forward of the shoulders and the spine. Keep those shoulders pulled down. Stay looking to one side, look down and up. Now, the numbers don't really matter. Maybe you're doing three, maybe you're doing five. Change direction, pull those shoulders down, look down and up. Slow, full movements, go in the speed and the range that feels comfortable to you. Drop your shoulders, circle your shoulders, breathe, don't hold your breath. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do palms up and turn out. 
Okay, so we've got our hands externally rotated and we're going through external rotation, really stretching out the pecs, the chest muscles, the front shoulders, engaging those rotator cuff muscles, the back muscles, helping counteract poor posture. This is gonna give you better, better oxygenation through the cells, but also through your lungs, better breathing. Okay, stop there. Let's do real quick, we're gonna go head, side to side, a little bit of a neck stretch. Now, when you do your neck stretch, make sure that your head's back over the spine, not forward of the spine. Stay on one side, go forward and back. So my mission is helping people who have a mission, helping support people change sides in their body so they can keep doing their mission. I'm a support person. I help your body be strong and not be distracting so that you can be clear and you can be a clear channel of the information that's coming to you. Okay, we're gonna do one last thing that's going to help with posture. You're gonna to go to a doorway or a corner. I'm gonna choose this corner of this piece of equipment. I'm gonna take my hand back. Let me give you a better angle here. You can do this right in the door and hold on to the molding of the door. My hand's back, whatever hand's back, that same leg is forward. And then I'm gonna rock forward and back, okay? What I'm doing is I'm stretching my chest right there. Stretching my chest. I'm gonna give you a different angle there so you can see this action. Really homemade cheesy video, but I don't care about that. I care about showing you the motion. So I'm rocking forward and I'm stretching my bicep, my forearm, my pec, my core. Rocking forward about four or five. You can feel it going as far as your body feels comfortable in the speed and range it feels safe. Now I'm gonna step over into it and I'm gonna go laterally. Laterally, you're gonna feel this in the chest. The chest gets tight. When the chest gets tight, pulls our shoulders forward, it pulls our head forward, it perpetuates that poor posture, and then gravity wins. Gravity's our friend, but gravity can be our enemy as well in posture and in our body. It pulls us to the ground and it bends us over, can give us pain. Okay, stay into that, turn your face into it, look down and look up. So my goal right here in this little video is just to get people who wouldn't normally move for their bodies or think about their bodies, giving them something to move. Now turn and face into it to let that go circulate your shoulders so that they can relieve the tension and the pain so that they can keep doing what they love to do in the world. Here's the other side. Whatever arm is back, that same leg, leg is forward. Just shooting from the hip here. And I'm rocking forward and back. Now let me give you a little tip. If this is super tight, and it will be for a lot of people, see how my hand is right here on my shoulder? If it's too tight, if that's too tight, come out of it a little bit, and that will relieve some tension. The more you are right in front of that hand, the more uh, stretch it's gonna be. Stretching out that pec. Good, and then I'm gonna step into it, and I'm gonna rock into it. I'm trying to keep my torso forward, and that's stretching that pec, the bicep, the forearm, the shoulder. Now I'm going to hold into it. I'm going to turn my face and look down and look up. This is called three-dimensional dynamic movement. And I uh, found it about a dozen years ago. I've been doing this for about 33 years. And I think that this is the golden stuff. This is the stuff that I want everybody to know. Thank you so much. Have a great day.